Hi, today I want to talk to you about something. If you're out of toilet paper and you can't find any other way, um, if you're thinking about buying a bidet, which are really expensive, or using some type of bottle as a bidet, there is an alternative. Um, what I have here is my little water pump that fits on top of the um, water jugs, like Ozarka jugs. I'm going to show you how I made a bidet. Now we do have toilet paper. Um, oh, and there's some back there. So yeah, uh, this is for people who can't get your hands on some and you want a bidet to try to help keep yourself clean. Now I'm going to give you a couple of hints about how to do this. Um, I made this basically with the water pump I have and junk I have laying around the house. You may or may not be able to do it this way. There are other ways to do this. I will talk about that. But here's my water pump. And here's the spigot that comes out. Now this is just a piece of hose out of a coffee pot. And this is the plastic tube that goes down inside of a coffee pot. And what I did was I drilled a couple holes in the top. Well, actually, I didn't drill. I cannot find my little drill bit, so I just had to use um, uh, a big screw and basically melt holes in it. <laughs> I mean, you can if you can put the smaller holes in it, it'd be better. But I want to show you how this will work. Um, a lot of people don't like bidets because the water is ice cold and it's hooked up to your cold water side. Well, if you're using something like this, next to your toilet, you can tape it down to your toilet however you want to do it. You can put a bucket jugs next to your toilet. It has like a two foot, two and a half foot hose, something like that, with warm water instead of cold water. Now I'm going to show it to you. Now I only have two holes in here, um, so the more holes you have, the better it is. All right, I'm going to take this in here real quick and drip water everywhere and show you how I did this. Now I have to apologize; I do have some dishes in the sink here. Okay, right here is. The water pump itself. It comes with this piece, has the pump and the hose. And I paid like nine dollars, I think, and some change for this pump. You can buy them on eBay. They just sit inside the uh, water jugs on on top of the water bottles. And all I did was I took a piece of hose out of a coffee pot, an old used coffee pot that I threw away. I generally keep hoses and stuff. Now, I'm a pack rat, and this is the tube that went down in the hole, uh, down inside the coffee pot. Now, that was a little bit long, so I did cut some of it off. Uh, as you can see, I got some washers here and stuff like that, and here's the end I cut off. So it actually went about like this. Now, if you can find some type of metal tubing or some type of plastic straw which I do not have I would have rather used a plastic straw than have to use this uh, plastic straw will fit you know all kinds of other things will fit but I'm going to show you how I did this real quick so let me get this undone on the very end here I have electrical tape now I'm going to set this down real quick and undo this tape better yet I'm going to take this whole piece off and show you
Okay, I've got all the electrical tape off. Now right here, in the very end, I do have a rubber washer that is a solid washer. Um, you can try to tape that off, you can, you know, stop it up with a piece of wood and put some tape around it. Whatever you have to do to stop this end up, that's what you need to do. Here are the holes. Here is the tube, uh, the, the rubber hose out of the coffee pot. And this is really hard to do with one hand. Sorry about this. And sorry about the noise. Um, this is not going to be easy with one hand. Uh, well, let me set this down again. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We're back. Now this hose was a little bit big for here, so what I did was I just wrapped some electrical tape here on the part from the water pump, uh, stuck the hose over it, and put some tape around it. This is what came out of the other, uh, an old coffee pot we had. I believe it was a Mr. Coffee. Um, I'm not sure, but it came out of an old coffee pot. If you have any type of hose that you can make fit on here or any type of tubing that will fit on this or you can make it fit by wrapping electrical tape around and you can put some holes in it and then block off the end, you can have a bidet. You just need to make sure your holes here. I wish I could have made them smaller, but I cannot for the life of me find my real small drill bit. Um, I put it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it and of course I lost it. So here's how I had to make the holes. Um, I take this screw here, put it in my small um, channel locks here. Well, sorry, vice grips. Uh, my small vice grips. And I heated it up with a lighter and I just melted through the plastic here. So that's how I made the holes. Now for you to do this, I would have something a lot smaller, have probably three holes on the top, and then over here just on the side of the holes, put like two or three more holes on each side, you know, angling up, you know, like that, and like that, and have the holes in the center. Anyway, uh, it does make a pretty high powered bidet. Uh, compared to the DIY ones on YouTube where you're taking a bottle and just letting the water run or whatever. This is actually motorized, it's pressurized. And if you're out of toilet paper and you can't spend $100 on a bidet that you can buy for your toilet, uh, these pumps are 10 to 15 bucks. And if you can find any type of tubing or any kind of hose that can fit on this, and just tape it on, make sure it doesn't leak, stop the end up, put some holes in it, you got a bidet. And it will not be hooked up to your cold water, it'll be pumping any water that you have sitting next to the toilet. Anyway, that's it. I hope this helps somebody out. And everyone have a good day.